there, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin Care in Burlington and South Burlington, Vermont. And today I wanted to chat about things that can better your skin besides skin care, facials, chemical peels, which is uh, something that we do when clients come in, but we also always look at the holistic picture, um, what's causing it. You know, it's the same with massage therapy. What's causing you to have the pain? Is it stress? Is it sitting too much, not exercising, exercising too much? So that way we can help people when they leave us to better their life. The same with skincare. For example, we can come in, we, when you come, you um, we can extract, sorry, I don't know what is going on. We can extract the pimples, but you know, if you're gonna go home and eat dairy and you're sensitive to dairy and you get that breakout all over again, um, you know, you're only getting so much benefit. Of course, it's still gonna help, you know, anti-aging, fine lines and wrinkles. That's where we can really help, you know, with chemical peels. But, you know, if you're doing them and then you go outside and you're not diligent, you don't wear sunscreen daily, that's going to be a problem too. Um, and then if you don't wash your face morning and night, that's going to be a problem too. If you don't use moisturizer in winter time and your skin is super dry. So, um, you know, there is something you can do and have to do as well to better your skin and health overall, of course. So in terms of skin, for example, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, for example, dairy products contain IGF-1 growth hormone, which is meant for little cows, that uh, mother cow uh, also has, um, well, it's, you know, when we have babies or cows have babies, there's hormones and there's estrogen so when you when we consume milk you know it can mess with our hormones and and so we have the growth factor then we have also the balance of estrogen and testosterone that can be messed up with dairy so that's why a lot of people are sensitive to it and they react and their skin leave alone not even talking about lactose, which a lot of people can be lactose intolerant and have digestive issues. So in general, I'm not vegan or vegetarian, but so it's not, not, it's not the reason why I'm hating on dairy, okay? It's really the health and it can reflect in your skin. Uh, and digestive issues with, you know, with dairy, like fermented is better, you're getting probiotics benefit, but you can get probiotics from other sources as well, even like fermented turmeric or ginger, um, though, however, you would want to be careful with uh, fermented things like alcoholic fermented drinks. Those can cause acne and even cystic acne. I had a client that was drinking that I finally nailed down that it was the beer that she was drinking that was causing the cystic acne because certain bacteria might not work well with your gut. Oh, for me, it's kombucha. If I drink more than one serving of kombucha, I'll get cystic acne. Um, the same with milk. I can have a little bit, but I'll, if I'll eat more than one, like two, three slices of pizza, it's guaranteed I'll get a pimple the next day. And the rest of the week, I might still, my body still might be detoxing from it. So it's not worth it to me. So, um, you know, uh, even when we people go to dermatologists, uh, they're not always told that hey, maybe there's something you're eating or doing that um, could be impacting your skin as well. Like, you know, if you exercise, go to sauna, sweating out toxins, um, and reducing that oil production and reducing stress, uh, insulin levels, like um, not eating high glycemic foods, that sugary foods that spike your blood sugar, that messes with our hormones. This, the same as cortisol, stress hormone messes with our blood sugar and can mess with our skin and cause pimples, breakouts. So there's many things, you know, dairy, high sugary, high glycemic, high sugary, sugar foods with no fiber. So if you like carbs, you can still eat them, of course, 
not saying, you know, people should not eat carbs or go keto because that's not the healthy. No extreme is healthy. You know, balance variety, but you want to have it in ways that don't negatively impact you. So having things with fiber or adding a little bit fat to if it is something on a higher, higher glycemic scale to like slow down that sugar absorption. You know, chocolate is, co cocoa beans are good, they have antioxidants, but when it's with sugar and dairy like milk chocolate, that's where problems can arise to some people. Uh, of course, I don't know if it's even necessary to mention, but smoking is gonna age your skin faster, that causes oxidative stress, so environmental things like that, pollution, uh, even things in non-organic foods can cause oxidative stress. So uh, if you can, I would choose organic every time you can because there was a study done in non-organic strawberries. The juice of those strawberries had still enough pesticides to prevent bugs from eating strawberries when they water with that juice other a generation of strawberries. So there is a lot of different things like that in the food, especially in the US. Um, in Europe, maybe it's a little better. Things seem to be a bit cleaner there with the, with the ad additives and regulations. But you know, adding makeup on top of your skin is not great. You know, a little bit tinted sunscreen, that's fine, um, usually. But you know, those thick foundations, things like that to cover up, it's definitely not recommended for skin health. Like if you go into special event once in a while, that's fine. But on a daily basis, wearing a uh, foundation, don't let the society fool you. That's, that's something you have to do. Um, the best thing is to find the root cause why you need that cover up, you know, like maybe you need chemical fields feels to get the scarring pigmentation from your skin, better your diet, um, try elimination diet. Perhaps dairy don't cause issues for you. There are people that it doesn't cause issues, but maybe certain fermented food, if you're struggling with acne or for anti-aging, for example, um, it's diet's gonna help eating more uh, fruits and vegetables, um, lean meats, fish is very good, omega-3, omega-6, that balance. Um, make sure you get wild fish too because farm-raised fish has too many omega-6. Or taking fish oil supplements, uh, zinc perhaps helps to heal our skin. Some people might be deficient in different minerals because our soil is depleted of minerals. So taking mineral supplements, electrolytes, that kind of stuff is important as well. And I must add, I almost forgot to say, uh, sleep is gonna be very important and just reducing inflammation because all disease, all issues usually come from inflammation. So all these things into consideration, try all these things and then you can try to put yourself on some sort of medication if that doesn't help. But I hope this helps. I kind of covered the basics, you know, uh, if you have any questions or I'd be curious your experience with this, post them in the comments down below. If you like a treatment, you can find this at uh, yolitabrilliant.com. That's with the J, yolitabrilliant.com. Follow on Instagram as well, yolitabrilliant. And I'll see you next video. Have a brilliant day.